Did you know that Case and Huff and Schleter has been servicing customers in the tri-state area for nearly 100 years? As an independent insurance agency, they have the flexibility to find the right value for your business, farm, and personal insurance needs. Case and Huff and Schleter is a locally owned agency. Their agents and support team are ready to help. Give them a call or find them on Facebook. Case and Huff and Schleter, proud sponsor of the Muddy River News Business Spotlight. Welcome to the Muddy River News Business Spotlight. I'm Bob Goff, and our program is sponsored by Case and Huff and Schleter Insurance. Russ Gennenbacher is my guest today, and as we tape this on Tuesday, uh, we are uh, talking to him about his uh, business, Landmark Solar. But today's a big solar day, right? That is, it is, it is. Happy winter solstice. <laughs> <laughs> so you're hoping for longer days and more sun, and well, we're you'll sure just keep gonna, rolling. Pretty sure it's going to happen starting tomorrow, so... Uh, Yep, pretty excited about that. Anybody that's out there making solar energy is going to get a little bit more uh, production starting tomorrow again. Well, let's talk a little bit about Landmark Solar. Um, give me a little background on the company. Okay, well, we are a local company. I mean, we've got uh, an office over in Taylor, Missouri. Um, been around for quite a while. Uh, so if you go over there, the Taylor, Missouri area, and you, you look over at the bluff there on your way to Canton, then you're going to see a big operation over there called Landmark Irrigation. And that's actually our parent company that's been over there for 30-plus years, actually over 40 years. Family-owned business by the Suter family. Sure. Uh, started working in electric and uh, heating and air conditioning for uh, agriculture way back a long time ago. Uh, got involved into uh, becoming a valley pivot dealer, and those are the big sprinkler systems right. there in the fields for people that might not know what that is. Uh, so got into irrigation, and then uh, as he continued to work with farmers, they had fields that were wet in some spots, and so they asked him to get into drain tile, so he got into that. And then along about 2015, uh, the company started getting involved with solar. So um, uh, that's kind of when that all started. And uh, in 2016, uh, we put a number of ground mounts up in our Muscatine, Iowa location and just kind of uh, been evolving since then, been involved in solar and kind of branded Landmark Solar as part of the company um in 2019 and going forward so of course uh, in these days of uh, of higher gas prices and higher energy prices all around um you know alternative energy is obviously a, a very big uh, market right now and people are looking for for ways and are you seeing a lot more interest in solar these days oh absolutely i mean you know the thing about it is, is uh, there's there's a number of reasons to maybe go solar. Uh, one could be environmental, uh, but mostly in our area, it is definitely an investment. Uh, it's a protection yourself for future rate increases on electric and to control your own um, more or less costs in terms of energy. Um, and then, um, you know, the environmental benefits are always fantastic, but uh, I would find that most people around here are definitely more interested in the return investment, especially people in Illinois with the special program we've got going on here. Talk a little bit about that. Okay, well, um, so so it started a couple of years ago, uh, actually, and just, and probably a lot of people didn't see in the news where there was a big energy bill that needed to be passed in uh, 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 Springfield, and so that went on for quite some time. I won't, I, I won't get too much into that, but uh, basically, it was the Illinois Climate and um, Equitable uh, Climate Control Bill, and it uh, basically paved the way for uh, several more years of solar incentives for people that live in Illinois that have businesses and homes in Illinois that build solar in Illinois, and so they would qualify to get a rebate check on a system that they would build um, to help them pay for their system. And, uh, you know, that's one thing that, uh, you know, in all, all the states are trying to incentivize this. And, you know, when people talk about government subsidies and such, that's that's great. But every industry gets them and uh, and needs them, quite frankly, if, if they're going to attempt processes like this. Because, again, this is something that while it's, you know, while the sun's been around for a long time and solar energy's been around a long time, what your company and, and, and your partners are doing, you're, you're trying to make it more accessible and make it easier and the technology I'm sure has improved greatly absolutely yeah so I mean I mean it's this isn't the old solar okay so this is this is new solar I mean solar's 
gaining all the time. It's kind of, I always think about like when I bought a computer, right? So I was always afraid to buy this computer because then the new processor was going to come out, et cetera, et cetera. But if you always waited for that next step, you sure. never got a computer, right? right? So so you buy the best system you can get at the time, and it's going to take you as long as you can. We put solar in 2016 at our Muscatine, Iowa. We haven't paid an electric bill in five years. Wow. So, I mean, the, the panels are there. Uh, the production's there. Um, it's definitely worth taking a look at. The money in Illinois, I mean, Missouri and Iowa, we love you. Uh, and, there's, and there's solar going up there. I mean, so uh, it's not keeping people, the additional money doesn't keep people from doing this. But in Illinois, it's just, it, when you can get a system almost up to 75% of the system paid for through incentives, whether it's the federal tax credit or whether it's this Illinois money, I mean, it, it, it definitely, in certain situations, it's not all like that. It's got to be logistically right. Um, but uh, it's, it's definitely worth taking a look at and controlling your destiny on your own cost of your energy in the future. So if I if I wanted to do it in my house, does that mean I'm going to cover my entire roof in solar panels? No, not necessarily. I mean, you know, it depends on what your usage is. So, I mean, every the first step in every job is really to take a look at how much electric you're using. Um, now, is it possible that you're that you're what I call a power user and <laughs> maybe you don't even have enough real estate on your house to build enough big enough system. Sure. But, you know, sometimes a 50% offset is better than nothing. I mean, again, creating 50% of your electric is better than not creating any at all. And you're still controlling half of what you use in terms of the cost of that. I would think it would really be attractive for businesses who use a considerable amount of energy or are still going to have to pay some, but really to have it as a as an option, maybe a way to alleviate No, the absolutely. Cost. Oh, yeah. Well, a doubt. I mean, in businesses, and businesses in our area, I mean, they've, they've got even additional incentives. I mean, there, there's depreciation, Bob, they can take advantage of. Um, there's REAP grant money that potentially could be available to them to help offset their system in addition to this Illinois money, in addition to the federal tax credit. So um, if I was a business, I'd definitely be taking a look at, uh, you know, the opportunity to, to talk with someone about solar. And, and you know, you talked about you know, when the Souter family established this, they were already very, uh, very active, very well known in, in local agriculture. But solar along with we've talked about in industry and home solar has some 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 really good uses in agriculture as well oh absolutely i mean you know you talk about um well first off let's take a look at the farmer i mean these, these are folks that are you know i don't want to say frugal necessarily as a negative term but keep keep the, like to keep their money in their pocket and they've sure. got to be very conscious about that and so um you know when they're they're taking a look at uh, some of these so whether it's a, a hog confinement or um you know sometimes the the dryers it doesn't always work because you've got demand at one time of the year uh, you know but you make solar all year long but uh for agriculture and you've got that extra of real estate out there where you can put a ground mount up you don't have to worry about shingles on a roof these systems last for 40 years so you know there's there's a lot of considerations to to, to take into account and uh, we you know we kind of cover all that with folks just to make sure they understand everything and you know for years you know farmers had windmills so they were yeah. always kind of using uh, alternative energy from the get-go whether it was for their pumps or what have you but and I think that they uh, you know would be more receptive to that uh, to that as well because when you look at irrigation or you look at solar you know farmers are the people who are basically on the front lines of of nature of dealing with the, the earth and and the environment and how to make their products successful so why wouldn't they want another uh, natural natural investment, so to speak, and anything to alleviate, you know, the cost of fuel and diesel and all that stuff's got to help. I right. Mean. Well, and, and, and another point that I, you know, farmers really are stewards of the land. And, yes. and I, I'm not going to tell you that I talked to a lot of farming folks that are all about saving the environment with solar, but I, I know that it's a consideration for those folks because that is top of mind with what they do day in and day out with their jobs. And so uh, that fits right into what they're looking for as well. No, I mean, without question. I mean, they, um, you know, yes, they are the caretakers and they're the ones who are putting food on our table. And uh, yes, they certainly, it's, I've always, you know, they don't want to do anything that's going to harm the land because they're the ones who are, who are using the land. So um, let's talk a little bit more about the, the, the financing of it. And you say, okay, I want to put solar on my roof. It's going to cost x how do i end up getting reimbursed for that okay. it's well it's an interesting program so so one of the things i do like to point out about the the illinois program is that it's not taxpayer funded it is it is utility rate funded so so with that being said with the passage of this bill 
um, we're probably going to see some rates going up here in Illinois. And so, uh, you know, when this bill passed back in September, I've, I heard estimates anywhere from 10 to 20 percent rate increases on electric. And now we we don't know exactly what that's going to be. You know, we don't uh, you know, we don't want to try to overinflate numbers and scare people. But we know that somebody's going to pay for this program and it's going to be the rate payers of Illinois in terms of electricity. Um, so um, how that works, uh, it, it is a regulated industry in Illinois. And so the legislation did have to admit it. You know, they're they're heavily involved in approving the program and so forth and so on but bottom line what this program does is we they're going to pay you for your production of electricity and now the wonderful thing about that is is you get to keep the electric and use it as you make it but because this bill is requiring the electric companies to get a certain percentage of their electric that they sell from renewable resources they're going to count everything you make towards that percentage they don't want your electric they just want to be able to count it towards their goal of accomplishing what they have to do per the legislation but so what, we're, what they're going to do is pay you basically a rate on each solar energy credit that you produce. And that's that's a little simple calculation of dividing the amount of kilowatts you produce over a 15 year period. But that really comes back to you in a check. I mean, it literally is real money and the, she the check does show up. And, and sometimes these are very large checks. And actually, with the new changes that happen in the program, uh, you can build uh, uh, twice the size system than you could in the previous program and get get it into one lump sum payment and um, and uh, get a better rate on it. So it's it's definitely improved. Yeah, um, and my, uh, when I was working for state government the first year I was uh, was over there, I worked for the ICC. Okay. So we dealt with a lot of these kinds of issues, and I sat in on, on many of the hearings that dealt with alternative energy. Of course, you know, you, you were in there, and the, the lobbyists from ComEd and Ameren were always in there trying to, you know, make sure that everything they wanted, they got. But, uh, but yeah, they, they certainly uh, have looked at this more, and I know uh, under the Pritzker administration, that has been something they have been much more involved in, in doing the alternative energy. And, but again, Again, you have to make it so it is uh, is viable for the for the consumers to to get involved with, though. Right, right, and 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 it does get. I mean, so again, it depends on the production. So if you take twenty panels, okay, the same twenty panels, you put them on one house. It depends on the pitch of that house, the azimuth of that house. You put them on a second house that's got a different pitch and azimuth. You're going to get two different production numbers. So when I said it could be logistically right, where you could get even over 75% of the system paid for, the house that's the perfect azimuth and pitch is going to produce a lot more. They're going to create a lot more electricity. They're going to get more SREX. They're going to get a higher payout, okay, than the system that's not quite, even though there's the same number of panels. It's, I get questions all the time, well, how, how much incentive money would I get? Well, you know, it's not quite that simple. We've got right. to build this system. Um, the same 20 panels here uh, isn't going to create the same 20 here, but they have definitely made it uh, worth looking at in terms of an investment because, I mean, when you get down to what your net cost is after your federal tax credit, after your SREC payment, um, you take a look at what you're going to save in terms of electric through the years. It's it's almost uh, it seems unreal sometimes to be quite honest with you. So and that's not every case. Like I said, and I'm talking about those cases where you get that southern facing roof. But but even even in some of the mediocre cases, I mean, it still makes a lot of sense to take a look at this. So. Um, yeah, the money's there. All right. Well, um, this has certainly been informative. And if anybody wants to reach out and find out more, you have a website, landmark-solar.com. And, of course, you have a Facebook page as well, right? That's right. We do. Yeah. So feel free to reach out, and uh, we'll, we'll try to give you as much information as we can. So. Well, Russ Ginnenbacher, I really appreciate your time today. Uh, thanks for having me. All right. Uh, that's all for uh, Muddy River News Business Spotlight, brought to you by Case Nuff and Schleter Insurance. I'm Bob Goff. Have a great week. Representing nearly 20 A-rated insurance providers, Case and & Huff and & Schleter caters to most any type of insurance. Business, farm, home, auto and health, for nearly 100 years, their team of experienced professionals is second to none in providing coverage for your insurance needs. Case & Huff & Schleter will find the most cost-effective solution to your business challenges, and with their experienced agents, they know how to navigate the insurance markets. 100 years, an agency built on service, no matter what side of the river you call home. Give them a call today or find them on Facebook. Case and & Huff and & Schleter, peace of mind since 1923.